Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey, hey, hello, and welcome to the Aha channel, the channel that makes you go Aha. And my name is Asri. There are three ways we can use to express plans or tell about future or plans to others. We can use will, we can also use going to, and we can also use present progressive or verb in. So today we're going to learn about them all. We're going to learn about how to use them and we're going to learn about the differences between the three of them. And in the end of the video, I'm going to give you some exercises to make sure that you have learned a lesson from this video. So please stick around. First of all, it is will. We're going to talk about will. Well, if you are an elementary level of English learner, I guess it is obvious that if you want to talk about your plans, you have to use will. But now it's time to step forward. And I've told you earlier that we can use three ways. The first is will, and the second is going to, and the second, the third, I mean, is present progressive. So the first question is, when do you use will to tell about plans or future plan? Well, you can use will if the idea or the thought of doing something or the plan came just before you tell this idea to someone else. So it means that you use will to tell about your plan that is, let's say, incidental. Okay, for example, this is your situation right now. You are driving home with your wife and she's telling you that your kids at home haven't had any lunch yet and the fridge is empty. So you instantly say that I'll stop by a near restaurant. You use will here because that is an instant plan. The idea of stopping by a near restaurant came just before you tell the plan to your wife. Second example. You are in your office right now with your colleagues, of course. One of them said, it is a hot day. So you instantly say, I will turn on the air conditioner. So why do you use will here? Yes, it is because the plan of turning on the AC is an instant plan because it came up just before you tell this to your colleague. So you say, I will turn on the air conditioner. Okay, let's talk about going to. Well, the big difference between will and going to and also present progressive is that in the time of the planned arrangement. If you use will, it means that you tell about the plan that was arranged just before you tell it. And if you use going to or present progressive, it means that you tell about the plan that has been arranged long before you tell about it. Or let's say the plan is arranged better or well. Okay, so now let's talk about the difference between going to and present progressive. You use going to to talk about your plan that has been well arranged. But you don't know the detail like time or place or something like that yet. Okay, for example, this morning you found nothing in your fridge. And now it's 8 p.m. and you said that I am going to do some shopping tomorrow to your husband, to your wife, or to your kids or someone else at home. So what are you use going to here? It is because one, the plan has been arranged well long before you tell it. Secondly, you use going to because you don't know the exact time yet. Time for shopping, I mean. Okay, it's time to talk about present progressive to express about plan. So what is the difference between going to and present progressive? Well, the difference is, is that 
you use present progressive to talk about your plan and you have the details about it you know when to do it you know the time and the date of doing the plan so for example today you plan to meet up with your friends tomorrow at 2 p.m. in your favorite restaurant so you can say I am meeting up with my friend tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, example number two. You plan to attend your friend's wedding party next Saturday at 2 p.m. in a hotel. So you can say, I am attending my friend's wedding party next Saturday at 2 p.m. Okay, it's exercise time. I will set some situation here and you can stage your plans based on the situations that I have stated earlier. But please remember to be careful in thinking about whether you want to use will, going to or present progressive. Okay, this is situation number one. You have many assignments to do. So you plan to do all of the assignments tomorrow. Can you state your plan using will, going to, or present progressive? Okay, I will give you some seconds and I will be back with the correct answer. Okay, this is one possible answer. You can say, I am going to do my assignment tomorrow. You use going to here because you have planned it long before you execute your plan. Okay, here is second situation. You planned to go to the cinema tonight at 8 p.m. Can you state your plan based on this situation? Okay, you can say, I am going to the cinema tonight at 8 p.m. You use present progressive here because this is a well-arranged plan and you know the detail, the time, and it is 8 p.m. Okay, this is third example. You are doing nothing at all today. You are so free while your mother is busy in the kitchen cooking something. Can you tell your plan based on this situation? Okay, I will give you some seconds and I will be back with the right answer. Okay, you can say, I will help my mom because it is an incidental plan. You tell the plan just before you have this idea of helping your mom. Okay, situation number four. It is raining heavily now, but your sister insists on going out to buy some ice cream. Can you tell your plan based on the situation? Okay. I will be back with the right answer. Okay, you can say, I'll go out and buy some ice cream for my sisters. So why do you use will here? It is because the plan is instant. The plan came just before you tell this to someone else. Okay, the last situation or situation number five. You plan to go fishing somewhere this weekend. Can you state your plan based on this situation? Okay, I'll be back with the right answer. Okay, you can say, I am going to go fishing next weekend. So the question is, why do you use going to here? Well, it is because it is a well-arranged plan. You told us about the plan and you execute it next week. So that's a well-arranged plan. 
So that's why you use going to. Okay, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you can catch up with my English lesson that I will upload here on my channel. The Ha channel, the channel that makes you go. Aha. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.